You are tuned to Utah Public Radio. I'm Shalane Smith Needham. It's time again for our weekly movie review with film critic Casey T. Allen. Good to see you, Casey. Shalane, I'm back. Good to have you back. Thank you. For those of you who are fans of Stephen King, you'll want to hear about the remake of Pet Cemetery. Did you like it? While watching this movie, I was not enveloped in this story as much as I was wondering why the producers of this film thought it was a good idea. Pet Cemetery is adapted from Stephen King's famous 1983 horror novel about a burial ground in the forests of rural Maine with ancient powers of resurrection. This book was already adapted into a film in 1989 with a screenplay that was adapted and written by Stephen King. The 2019 remake, directed by a pair of two up-and-coming young men, is just a strange choice for any movie studio or production team to get behind. The remake has some interesting moments because it differs a bit from the story in the 1989 film, but it's sadly not enough to make Pet Cemetery a fresh or memorable take. Instead of exploring how people's lives are haunted by grief and driven by desperation to reunite with lost love, Pet Cemetery does a much better job listing all the expected tropes of a horror film, such as flickering light bulbs, whispering ghost voices, darkened doorways, dirty footprints, and a hissing cat. Meow! Did the producers get this idea for the remake from smoking marijuana or swallowing pay we will never know. Okay, I don't think you liked this one. <laughs> I was just bummed, and I am i don't understand why this tidal wave of remakes is getting bigger and bigger, it seems. I was very underwhelmed. Thank you for being here. My pleasure.